looks like you got a tiddler yourself. Yeah, but you should have seen the size of one that got away. All right, Steve. Your mum know you're out this late. Well, you know him? Yeah, he's one of the Lacey clan. Oh, that's funny. Because it ain't what it says on the tin. Let's have a look at those. You're not Conrad, James. We weren't doing anything. Just having a laugh. Yeah, well, now you're under arrest for assault on a police officer and criminal damage. Can we get this place cleared, please? Oh. Have you seen that, Reg? Looks like our comrade's a regular customer. Where does he get these? Look, I know you're not Conrad. You're a little bit too white to be him. Maybe he's reluctant to talk to you because of this. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. And I don't think you've been doing the Daz Doorstep Challenge, have you, mate? What's a player like you doing with a bottle of amphetamines with Conrad James's name on? Comrade's a cokehead. Is he now? He gave me offers in cash for some Jean-Luca. What? Jean-Luca Viali, Reg. You've lost me. Charlie. I bet this isn't the only bottle he's given you. So they turn over some chemist, laughing about it because two pigs nearly rumbled him at the start. Have you seen that, Reg? All good things come to those who wait. So it was Harriet who got me into rehab. Harriet who put me straight. It's my job, Lenny. You did more than that. Really? She's done nothing to be ashamed of. I've even met her husband. It's a friendship. That's all. Sometimes you can't help but get involved. I knew this would, like, cause her embarrassment. You should have said, Lenny. Yeah, this is all very nice, but where does it get us? I go and see Harriet a lot. Outside normal hours, as it were. Bank holiday. I know where I was. We went to the theatre. A musical. Mm. <laughs> what time did that finish? About 10.30. Then we went for a meal in Chinatown. And Tuesday night? Tuesday. Lenny came to my house. He was upset, maybe even a bit paranoid, about the police presence on Jasmine Allen. What time was that? Quarter past one, precisely. Lenny was seen heading towards Canley Fields just after one. The first reportings of the attack were 117. I live on the south side. Lynn Roberts was attacked on the north side. That's too far. How can you be so sure of the time? If someone knocks on your door at that time of night, you make a note of it. But don't take my word for it. Ask my husband. He never sleeps after a late turn. Your husband's in the job? He's an inspector at Stafford Row. I think that's what you'd call a solid alibi. We're sending these for analysis? Yes, Sarge. We'll need a warrant. Uh, we pulled him in once already. Hi, when I arrested Conrad in the nightclub, it wasn't pills he was flushing, it was coke. Probably just enough for personal use, but there's bound to be more at his home address. Yeah, we should have searched there earlier. But he'll be cocky now. He'll think he's got away with it. I still need to be convinced. Well, what you want, blood? We've had enough cock-ups already, all right? Look, Lacey will want a plea bargain. He'll give us Conrad because he wants a lighter term. If the amphetamines are part of the batch stolen from the chemist, we've got him. That also puts Conrad in the same area at the time of the attack on Lynn Roberts. But no evidence that he raped her. Well, no, Sarge, but it does give us enough to question him. And take swabs. Okay. But if you're wrong about this, Tavener, I'll make sure you're not posted on the car for months. Good. Right. Return your pockets, please. People can change, you know. Really? He's not evil. I haven't been in this job long enough to count on both hands how many times I've heard that. But I did read his file and I do know what he did. He may have forgotten it, but the victims, they've still got to live with it. Let's hope you're right, because if you're wrong and he does reoffend, who knows what could happen. Tony, Nick, I want you out the back. Reg, stay up front. Sarge! Is Eddie going to knock or is he going straight in? He's going straight in. Eddie? Police! We have a warrant! Go back to bed, Mr. James. Is this the way to Conrad's room? Take it this is Conrad's room. This is James with the police. We have a warrant to search these premises. We're going to have another bit of a letter into yours, Steve Lacey. He had quite a lot to Conrad say. Conrad James, we have a warrant to search these premises. Well! Chief aftershave. Look, my mum bought me that as a present. Kapoor's pharmacy. Where'd you get the scratches, Conrad? Where'd you get the scratches? Oh, don't hit me, please. Please don't hit me. Answer! 
Look, it's just for money. I wanted to, but just for money. That's just disgusting. And did Janet Harvey ask for money as well? No, what do you think hey. I am? Hey. Put your hands against the wall. Against the wall. Vicky. Listen, about the other night. Look, I shouldn't have, you know, taken advantage. I'm sorry. There's no need. I really don't have to. It's just... I've had enough written about me on the toilet walls. And I've read enough about you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Matt. What? Fancy a bit of breakfast? Why not? I heard you got him. Yeah, we got him. The Marnie, right? No, we knew it wasn't him, but we got him. First up, good as Gales. Congratulations. How's the CD? Haven't had a chance to play it yet. There's a good Mac in call when I was with the moment, so you yeah, could get hold of a copy if you like. No, no, that's fine. I know this girl, and she liked that King Cole. She never heard of him, but. One of his records was on an advert, um, lamb or bacon or something. I think it was lamb, wasn't it? I don't know, sweet. He had long red hair and brown eyes. Looked a bit like the one off EastEnders, um, oh, Ricky! <laughs> had a fit in front of her. Killed over, frothing at the mouth. Face going all black and blue and twitching away. <laughs> she must have thought of some kind of freak. Never saw her again after that. Sarah Kemba looked a bit like her. Couldn't get what you wanted. So you went out and took it, eh? It's not my fault. It's not your fault, Conrad. I'll make sure I smell nice. Bit of splash, meant for the breath, and, and a word of Johnny. It's been responsible, isn't it? It's doing it right. Just sometimes. I'm not a bad looking bloke. Pure coffee. Thanks. Log! Fuck, it's you, innit? Bloody hell, yeah, Daniel, what's, what's that, that, what's that man? man? What are you doing? Racist remark. What did he say? Go and talk to the police, bro. Yo, you best talk to someone, blood, because you know what? You're in big trouble.